Hello, this is one of my favorite price elasticity of demand problems. In this setup, you'll be given a graph of a demand curve, and you'll be asked to find the price elasticity of demand at various points along it, such as a price of $10, a price of $20, and at a price of $30. The first thing we want to do is get an equation for this line. So price is the variable on the vertical axis, so that'll be our left-hand side variable. The vertical intercept is 40. Demand curves are downward sloping, so the slope is going to be negative. And we have 40 divided by 160 representing the slope of this demand equation multiplied by Q, the quantity demanded. That will just simplify up to 40 minus 1 fourth Q. Okay, the next thing we want to do, and an important thing, is we want to transform this equation, which is technically an inverse demand curve, into a normal demand curve. And we're going to do that by solving this equation for Q. So I'm solving this above the equation for Q, moving 1 fourth Q to the left hand side, P over to the right hand side. I'm going to multiply through now by 4. And we get our demand equation. This is our regular demand curve. Economics, we usually think of Q, the quantity demanded, being the dependent variable, P, the price, being the independent variable. All right, so now we're about ready to calculate these price elasticities of demand. Let's review the price elasticity of demand formula. So the elasticity of demand requires three inputs. The first thing we need to input is the derivative of the demand equation, this regular demand equation that we solved here with respect to price. And then we're going to multiply that by price divided by quantity. One thing that I try to remember is that the, Q, the, the cross term should match. If there's a Q here, there should be a Q here. If there's a P here, there should be a P here. So we need three things. We need the derivative Okay, that's one thing. We need to evaluate this elasticity at a certain price. That's the second thing we need. And then we need to evaluate it at the corresponding quantity. That's the third thing we need. So we need three things. So let's start calculating some of these elasticities. In the first example, we're interested in calculating price elasticity of demand at a price of $10. Well, if price is $10, what is quantity? Plugging that $10 back into our demand equation, we get 160 minus 40, or 120. Okay, so now we're ready to uh, try out this equation. So the price elasticity of demand is going to be the derivative of the demand curve, demand equation with respect to price, and all we're going to get back here is the coefficient in front of the price term, minus 4. So minus 4 times the price is 10 divided by the quantity of 120. And just simplifying slightly, we get minus one third. So that's the price, elastic price elasticity of demand at $10. Okay. Next. Let's find the price elasticity of demand at, what did we say, $20 right up here. So when price is $20, quantity is going to be 160 minus 40, or minus 4 times 20. This is just 80. So going back to our formula, we need three things. The derivative of the demand curve with respect to price is minus 4. The price this time is 20. The 
corresponding quantity is 80, so we get minus 80 over 80, or minus 1. We can find that point over here. The elasticity of demand there is minus 1. And this is a good time to remind you that at the midpoint of the demand curve, the price elasticity of demand will always equal minus 1. So we cut the demand curve in half. Price elasticity of demand will always be minus 1. Anything below that point, the elasticity of demand will be less than 1 in absolute value. Anything above this midpoint, the elasticity of demand will be greater than 1 in absolute value. So now let's find out what happens when price is $30. I'm going to plug $30 into the demand curve to see what happens. So when price is $30, the quantity demanded is 160 minus 4 times 30. So that's just 40. Going back to our elasticity of demand equation up here, get minus 4 times the price of 30 divided by the corresponding quantity. We get minus 3. So right here, the elasticity of demand is minus 3. That happens to be elastic demand, if you recall. An elastic demand down here, less than 1 in absolute value. Elastic demand is going to be on the top half of the demand curve, where these coefficients exceed 1 in absolute value. Unit elastic right at the midpoint. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, you may also want to check out my other video on the price elasticity of demand. Uh, there too, I use calculus and I give a little bit more of an intuitive um, explanation in deriving the elasticity of demand formula. Okay, goodbye.